Angie. Give me happy. <laughs> Give me fulfilled. <laughs> Give me that look that says you've got beautiful triplets and cleavage I could happily suffocate to death in. <laughs> oh, come on, Angie. What kind of look is that? The look that says I was expecting twins. The look that says you're not coming near me for a long, long, long time. <laughs> If that's our obstetrician, tell him I know where he lives. <laughs> Nick Tyler, super stud speaking. <laughs> hey, it's the nanny. Oh, thank God. Hi, Ingrid. Hold on a second. Honey, this one needs to be changed. You want me to change it? If Tom Selleck can do it, so can you. <laughs> Tom Selleck had a stuntman for all his dirty work. Okay, Ingrid. What do you mean you don't want the job anymore? You got a better offer. What could be better than your own apartment and three perfect babies? Lady, we're begging. Whatever they're offering, we'll match it. Crying babies. What crying babies? Oh, yes. I do believe I hear one in the distance. Shut him up, Nick. <laughs> Ingrid, you're a horrible person, and I hope they're throwing in a razor for your mustache. <laughs> this is the fourth nanny who's backed out on us, and the first three backed out. Ugh. And the first three backed out because they thought we were having twins. Relax, honey. It's going to be okay. Get real, Nick. We have triplets. <laughs> have you counted their toes? Them. How am I ever going to get back to work? Well, how am I going to get through medical school? Now, let's see. Which one are you, huh? Sophie, Lisa, or Joey? <laughs> nice shot, Joey. <laughs> you do that again, and I'll tie a knot in it. Still thinks we're having twins. Huh. I can't wait to see her face. Now there's a target. Mom's a very unhappy and lonely person, okay? She's only gonna be here for a few weeks. Try and be nice. I'm already being nice. I even sent my dad to the airport to pick her up. He just threw up on me. You don't like me very much, do you? You sent Sam to pick up my mother? <laughs> Is that a problem? Yes. But I don't have the strength to care. <laughs> you know, I think while I'm here, I'll have a vasectomy. <laughs> Welcome to Los Angeles. Due to a union dispute, there are still no cabs available from this airport. <laughs> Management apologizes for any inconvenience. Wonderful. What a butt. <laughs> Daphne! No. Please, God, no! <laughs> Mr. Tyler, what a totally unexpected pleasure. So how you doing, Dad? Uh, we seem to have lost touch since the kids' wedding. That's because you lost touch during the reception. <laughs> I did? You got hopelessly drunk and had a long conversation with the tent pole. <laughs> and you were kind enough to let me sleep on the lawn overnight. <laughs> And you were kind enough to relieve yourself on my begonias. <laughs> Which, I might add, have not fully recovered. <laughs> Has my daughter had the twins yet? Yeah. Sophie and Lisa popped out like corks from a bottle. Oh, twin girls. Oh, oh my prayers have been answered. <laughs> and a couple of minutes later, they were joined by their little brother, Joey. Little brother? What little brother? <laughs> How did he get up in there? <laughs> no, please, don't, don't answer. Poor Angie, what a challenge. Three mouths and only two hooters. <laughs> you might
might have to volunteer one of yours, Dan. <laughs> Any repetition of that kind of smut, and I'll never speak to you again. Well, if I'd have known that, I'd have mentioned them earlier. <laughs> Perhaps you can elevate your tongue from the gutter and tell me how my grandchildren are. A lot more fun than you are. I only wish my Peggy were alive to see them. They definitely have got the Tyler chin. Yes, well, fortunately, they can do wonders of plastic surgery in these days. <laughs> yeah. Well, you'll be happy to know they've got your eyes. Really? Yeah, two between the three of them. <laughs> it is horrible. <laughs> uh, well, I'll put uh, these in the locker for now. Why can't we take them now? Well, my bike does not have a trunk. <laughs> Yeah, it's no problem. Bike? I'll come back for him later. Did you say bike? Come on, let's go, Dad. Park it right behind me. Mm -hmm. What? On the saddle. You seriously think I'm going to ride that death trap? You're even dumber than you look. Well, it's either this or your broomstick. Seems I have no choice. You got that right. <laughs> now chill out. Hold on. Hands above the waist. <laughs> We're gonna be great buddies, son. And if you ever have a problem, you can always come to me and we can both go ask your mother. <laughs> Grandpa and Grandma! And Don King's hair. <laughs> oh, look at him. Oh, he's so beautiful. Oh, and so is she. Oh, oh, and so is she. Oh, hello, my tiny, helpless, poverty-stricken little angels. <laughs> Grandmama's here. Yeah, they've got your screen. If they're hungry again, forget it. The milk bar is closed. Hi! Mom? Oh, Angela. You clever, clever girl. Welcome to triplet hell. <laughs> you get back into bed, young lady. Mom, I'm fine. I'll be the judge of that bed. Don't just stand there looking vacant, Nicholas. Get me the hospital administrator. I want round-the-clock nurses for my grandchildren. And I want anything Mr. Tyler touches sterilized. <laughs> Angie, will you tell your mother to butt out? I tell her myself, but it might seem rude. Oh, no, come on, son. I think Angie and her mom need to be alone. Alone. We've got triplets. Alone is no longer in our vocabulary. <laughs> I love you. Love you more. Mm. Mm. Here come more grandchildren. <laughs> hey, son. Come on. <laughs> Hi. Bennett. Bennett is my partner from the flower shop. What? Oh, that's terrific. A double bar mitzvah at the River Country Club? Oh, sure, I can help. I'll be back to work in three weeks. Okay, talk to you later. You can't go back to work in three weeks. You've just had triplets. Mom, my job's important to me, and we need the money, okay? Nick's still got three years of medical school and a residency. And who's going to look after your babies? Or are you planning to tether them somewhere like goats? We're planning to get a man. Oh, is she aware you'll have to borrow money from her so you can pay her? She gets to live rent-free in the bottom unit of our duplex. That hovel. It's not a hovel. Sam's been fixing it up. Oh. It'll all work out. And when Nick graduates... <gasps> Dreams so... don't pay the rent, Angela. You're a mother now, and motherhood involves suffering, sacrifice, and heartache, sleepless nights, and worry, worry, worry. <laughs> Next to being vice president is the most thankless job on earth. <laughs> Grandma's right, children. So here's what Mommy's going to do. I'm going to sell you all and buy a cat. <laughs> Hey, 
Hey, Dad, how's it going? I've got triplets, that's how it's going. I've been slobbered on, peed on, puked on. You know, I've been a dad for less than a day, and the only thing that's keeping me going is that it'll all be over in 18 years. <laughs> I guess you and Angie must be pretty worried. Yeah, maybe I should drop out of medical school. Don't you even think about it. I sunk too much money into your education for you to quit medicine. I'm relying on you to come up with an antidote to Daphne. <laughs> but, Dad, one job, three kids, no nanny. Yeah, well, I've been thinking about that nanny, and uh, I've decided you're looking at it. <laughs> oh, you're not a nanny, Pop. You're a talented mechanic with an identity crisis. I know about baby, son. That was all you had from the age of two months, and don't you forget it. I must have changed your diapers a thousand times. And I still haven't recovered from some of them. <laughs> but did I complain? Sure, I complained. <laughs> Who wouldn't? But I gave you the kind of care and attention most babies can only dream about. And I only failed you once, once. And that's when you tried breastfeeding. <laughs> but, Dad, there's three of them. Three mouths that never close. Three bottoms that also never close. But what is best for the kids? A total stranger you can't afford? A wise and loving grandfather? A man who sacrificed the best years of his life bringing you up single-handed? A man who just got kicked out of his apartment by Lorraine? You and Lorraine split up? Yeah. Things haven't been going too harmonious between me and Lorraine since, 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 I mean, since we first met. <laughs> so how about it, son? Do I move in? I don't know, Dad. I... I already rent your garage for my repair shop, so you know I am a perfect tenant to... You got to face it, son. I'm the only nanny alive who wants the job. <laughs> I give up. I've got no choice. You won't regret it, son. You won't regret it. Yeah, I'm sure I will. I better go tell Angie. Yeah, you do that. She'll love it. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> Nick, what would you say if I told you I've decided to give up my career and sacrifice my dreams to become a full-time mother? It wouldn't be fair. I won't let you do it. Good, because you won't have to. I know I won't have to, because the downstairs apartment has been taken by a nanny I just met. What? Who? A very versatile person, that's who. With very special qualities. Reminds me a lot of my dad. In fact, come to think of it, it is my dad. You're kidding, right? Angie, we had no choice. I did what I thought was right. I'm sure you did. There's only one small problem. What? I just gave the apartment to my mom. see me naked, Daph, you'll have to make an appointment like everybody else. I want to know what you're doing in my bathroom. I want to know what you're planning to measure. <laughs> Wait a minute. What do you mean your bathroom? Your bathroom's in Connecticut. Not anymore. I'm moving into this apartment to provide the kind of postnatal backup that money can't buy. Oh, yeah? Says who? Angela, of course. I don't approve of my daughter resuming work so soon, but I understand her need. It's called survival. It's not as if she can rely on her husband's income. And who knows how long it's going to take him to struggle through medical school. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe his grades aren't quite as high as his sperm count. <laughs> He's had his hands full. So that's why I'm moving in to take care of my grandchildren. 
Your qualifications for the job of child care are at best non-existent. Well, now, I did a great job taking care of Nick. Please. The only reason he's like he is is because you obviously dropped him on his head. I have never dropped anybody on their head in my life. But suddenly I am real tempted. <laughs> Are you threatening me? Nick is a fine boy, and I'm damn proud of him. Maybe I wasn't able to provide him with all those material things, but I wasn't born with a silver spoon in my mouth. Just a smutty tongue. <laughs> For your information, Mr. Tyler, everything I got, I earned. Everything you got, you married. <laughs> Would you please leave my lousy marriage out of this? Look, you buried that guy 10 years ago, and it's time you started living again. Because before you know it, you're dead. Well, yes, thank you, Aristotle. <laughs> but the fact still remains, the triplets need expert care. And let's face it, Mr. Tyler, you are many things, but you're not Mary Poppins. Well, the only thing nice about you is your butt. <laughs> Even that could use a little work. Where do you think you're going? I'm going to see Angie. Not without me, you're not. Oh. <laughs> you just can't keep your hands off me, can you? We're talking formative influences here, Angie. We're talking what's best for our kids. What's best for our kids is my mother moving into that apartment. I don't believe this. Did you tell her the apartment shared a wall with Dad's repair shop? Yes, and she said it would be okay, which shows you just how desperate she really is. <laughs> Angie, I'm on tape. Angela, Mr. Tyler is under the mistaken impression that he's moving into the downstairs apartment to take care of the triplets. And why not? I'm better qualified. Oh, really? In what way? I'm human. <laughs> Don't you talk to my mother like that. Don't you talk to my father like that. Don't you talk to my daughter like that. <laughs> now look what you've done. Not like that. Give it to me. Look, I'm the father. I'll handle this. Here, Angie. <laughs> you know something, Daph? They have a medical term for you showing up. It's called postnatal depression. Would you two stop it? Oh, I'm sorry, Angie. The last thing you need is any aggravation. I've decided to go quietly. I see, Angie. So long, little ones. Look, I'm sorry, Pop. Our lives just become a horror movie. Yeah, it's what you call the creature from Connecticut. <laughs> well, I'm glad we settled whose apartment it is. The first thing I'm going to do is wall up the door to Mr. Tyler's repair shop. I don't want my grandchildren exposed to that middle-aged delinquent. <laughs> Mom, this isn't going to work. The deal's off. I beg your pardon? That apartment has two bedrooms, and there are a lot of good reasons why Sam should have one of them. And from what distant recess of your adult brain did this gem emerge? There's no way you can handle three babies by yourself. Angela, you can't expect me to shack up with that oversexed animal. Sam's really good people, and he's fun. Remember fun? Oh, the man is totally obsessed with my... posterior. <laughs> he just thinks it's your best side. <laughs> this is madness, even by your standards. Name me one thing Mr. Tyler and I have in common. I'll name you three. Angie called and gave me the good news. We both know this isn't going to work, Mr. Tyler, so let's just cut the crap. <laughs> By the time I'm finished with you, you'll run screaming from this apartment. Ooh, I love it when you talk mean. <laughs> so far, you've only seen my nice side. Oh, I don't believe that. Behind that icy facade, there's a real free spirit just waiting to be released, and I'm just a guy to release it. Dream on, Mr. Tyler. In the meantime, here's how it's going to be. First of all, no Mexican food unless you plan to be out all day. <laughs> no picking at your body in my presence. Am I allowed to pick at your body? That's it. You have just 
cross the line. I hate to use up my supply of mace so early on in my visit, but you've left me no choice. Now, look, Daph, we are in this for the triplets, okay? We owe it to them to try and be friends. So please stop treating me like I'm a dummy. I got a brain. I got thoughts I'd like to share. I'm not just that guy you saw in the tub. <laughs> that was the bonus. <laughs> you, Mr. Tyler, are pitiful. And so is your bonus. Whoa. What a butt. <laughs> Nick, put the camera on the tripod and get in the picture. Okay, everybody smile. Pretend like we like each other. <laughs> you heard what the man said. Oh. Oh. How about it, Rumi? It's double doses of all new Family Man episodes, Monday right after Evening Shade and Wednesday after Rocky and Bullwinkle. Twice the fun, twice the laughs. And Sunday, can Jessica prove the sheriff isn't the killer? Murder, she wrote, Sunday on CBS.